stupid questions owners have asked about their pets. Welcome back to Vet Science. My name is Dari, and today we're covering a very interesting topic. So basically, I decided to Google search some stupid questions, and I found really interesting ones. Of course, I've been asked a lot of stupid questions, some of which I've seen here. <laughs> so, are you ready, kids? So most of these are like a dialogue. Customer walks in the clinic without a dog. Hi, I'm the 11:30 appointment. The doctor responds. Hi, customer. Do I need my dog with me? The doctor. How else are we supposed to give them? Shots in the checkup. Customer. <laughs> I'll go home and get him. <laughs> he walks out the door. Doctor. I'm sorry, but the kidneys have completely stopped working. The only thing we can do is release the poor cat from the pain and suffering. Lady. Oh, that's a shame. But is that the only option? The doctor. Unfortunately, yes. Lady. Okay, but is there any homeopathic anesthesia you can give him? You know, all these chemical things are not healthy for the body. Um, do you know what euthanasia means? This is my favorite one. People tend to call on the phone and expect you to diagnose their pet over the phone. Doctor. Hi, this is Dr. Someone. How can I help you? Customer. Yeah, my dog is coughing. Do you know why? Doctor. Well, that could be a number of reasons you really need to come in for us to know. Customer. Oh, so you can't diagnose over the phone? No. Are you stupid or something? Person called and said that their vet told them their cat was a male. The reason for the call? Nipples. They were sure the vet was wrong. I was like, well, men have nipples. They were like, oh, okay, and hung up. So this has never happened to me and I hope that in my future it will never happen. If I had a dollar for every client who called to ask if they can just buy the euthanasia stuff so they can just do it themselves. What's worse is we had a client that actually told us she got a hold of some and euthanized her dog herself. So this day I had no freaking idea how that panned out the way it did. <laughs> Can my intact male cat breed with my intact female dog? Hmm. One eternity later. What do you think? <laughs> Can it? What about your hamster and your parrot? Or your fish and your snake? Today a client came in to drop off his puppy for seeing worms on near his stool. I asked him to describe what the worm looked like and he told me he had brought one in a bag with him. Great, let me take a look at it and we'll also run a fecal. He hands me the worm in the bag. It's a fucking 6 inch long earthworm. <laughs> and then there's a comment down below. I had a client bring its cat feces because they wanted to find what kind of worms it had and pick up a medication. It was maggots. I told her to clean her little box more often. I had a client tell me that she thinks her dog is having a seizure because he becomes rigid, trembles and uh, pants a lot. She showed me a video asking if this was a seizure. The dog was full on air, humping and red rocketing. <laughs> Nope, that's not a seizure, ma'am. He's humping. <laughs> I had a teacher with a female Labrador that had puppies and they were keeping a male. I started my typical talk about neutering when he was old enough and the owner was like, oh, we aren't planning on neutering him. He knows he, that's his mom. I let the doctor finish the conversation and the woman was... <laughs> And the woman was surprised that her male dog may actually try to breed his mother. Thankfully, she fixed both. Thankfully. My fellow tech friend had a client call into her work and ask, how can I tell what life the cat is on? People, cats do not have nine lives. I have one life. <laughs> I have one precious life and that's all. If he's on a high number like 7 or 8, I won't bother bringing him in. But if he's on a lower number, I want to bring him in. Like he's on level 1 or 2, maybe I'll bring him in. <laughs> but 9, well he's almost past. If people can get AIDS from dogs and vice versa. This was a question asked over the phone to a co-worker and they were being 100% serious. Oh my dear lord, do you people... I mean, do you know how AIDS is transmitted? First of all. Second of all, you cannot catch AIDS from a cat. You cannot catch AIDS from a dog. And you cannot give AIDS to an animal. If the cat could still have babies after getting spayed, if her pregnant cat went outside, could she become pregnant again and be twice as pregnant? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Why is this pregnant? <laughs> Oh my goodness, why is this pregnant? Well then. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you think of any stupid questions someone has asked you about a pet, please comment below. I honestly don't know what to say about this. I'm really disappointed at humanity of not being as, I don't know, educated. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share and follow me on social media. Until Monday, I wish you all the best. Bye!